I remember sitting on my PC. There was junk food everywhere. There was trash on the ground. I smelled really bad. I hadn't brushed my teeth. I was consuming mindless content on my PC. I knew what I needed to do. I knew what I needed to do meditation, journaling, gratitude, deep work, go after my purpose. Instead, I chose the things that were easy, the things that were pleasurable. And I would have all this knowledge and what did I do? I threw it away. And so my mental health was going down, down and down. My physical health was going down, down, down. I was gaining weight like crazy. I was eating sugar like crazy. My mind was full of insecure thoughts. My mind was full of limiting beliefs. Inaction is a slow death. It's not your fault. Society has conditioned you to believe that it's okay to put the work off for tomorrow. They've conditioned you to believe that self-care is taking 50 breaks and eating a tub of ice cream. Inaction is a slow death because you have the tools in your mind, you have the knowledge, the wisdom, the books, but by not taking action, it's all useless. See, once you start to learn something new, it opens up this new world to you. Just like in a video game, when you discovered a new location, there was new quests, there was new things to do, new people to meet. Inaction is a slow death because you know there's this new world out there, by you not taking action, you're not going to explore that new map. You're not going to meet those new people. You're not going to face those challenges because you're stuck. Inaction is a slow death because you're going against yourself. You're going against the core of who you are, the, the person that wants to succeed, the person that wants to create a certain life. But you go against yourself because you believe that you can do the work tomorrow, you believe and you stop yourself from becoming successful. You might be thinking to yourself, I, I don't know if I can do it. You might be thinking to yourself, maybe I should wait until tomorrow. You might be thinking to yourself, I don't know, I just have so many thoughts roaming around. But the only way to defeat these thoughts, the only way to break free of this, this pattern is through action. Not only that, but you have to visualize yourself achieving what you want to achieve. When you combine action with visualization, you'll start to see that your life is going to change. I used to be the person that would never take action. I would always be the person that was so inconsistent with everything that I did in life. And I'm still making mistakes. I'm not going to lie to you. There's still times where I'm not consistent with certain things, but I've improved massively. When you start to take the action, you're going to see that your life is going to change. You're going to have more hope within yourself. You're going to have more experience to back up this new belief of the person that you're trying to become. 